Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to look at calculating the overall return on a portfolio. So when you calculate the overall return on a portfolio, what you're really doing is calculating a weighted average. In other words, I'm trying to determine what the return is on my portfolio given that I own some shares of one stock and some shares of another stock and one stock may be up and one stock may be down. So in order to find portfolio return, we're going to take the proportion of the portfolio that's in the stock times its return and then the proportion of our next stock times that stock's return plus the proportion of the next stock times that stock's return and so on until I've accounted for a hundred percent of my portfolio. So if I look in an example, year to date Able Company has earned a 4.40% return. So that's one of my returns. And during the same time, beta earned 4.93 cent percent, but poor delta here had a negative 0.6. So my portfolio is 40% able, 40% beta, and 20% delta. So that's 100% of my portfolio. And so now I'm simply going to take the percentage that I hold times the return. So we knew that this one right here was my investment in ABLE. That was my 40% at 4.40. I had 40% in beta and so that's what this represents here. And then the third stock in my portfolio was delta which I held 20% of that and that was my loser at 0.60%. So I simply multiplied the weight of or percentage of my portfolio invested in that particular vehicle times whatever my return was and I added all three of them up and I come up with an overall portfolio return of 3.61%. So it wouldn't matter how many different stocks I had, I would just keep taking the um, percentage it represents in my portfolio times its return and I'd keep summing those up until I'd accounted for a hundred percent of everything I've got. So that wasn't too bad, was it? As always, I hope that you found this video useful and thanks for watching.